You guys asked for an app, and we're in Tel Aviv making it. Are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. I am in Tel Aviv at the headquarters of an amazing startup called B-Post, and this is the creative genius behind it, Mr. Leo. Leo Khalfon. Khalfon, yes. I can't say it. I know, it's hard, Khalfon. <laughs> but you can say it, Leo is fine. Leo. So Lior. could you just tell us about B-Post? Uh, well, B-Post is a, is a uh, platform of uh, um, creating buzz on any site. We're actually uh, switching the, all, all of the uh, talkbacks from text to video. You can open the camera and then you can just say whatever you want to say as, a talk, as your talk about your comment in video of uh, you know, 15 seconds video. You can pixelate your face, you can put it in a funny cutout, you can write uh, your text, but the text can blow, can melt, can anything, any special effect that you can choose. You can record your comment and choose your background, your emotional background. So it's like all the tools that you can have and you would like to have in order to express yourself uh, under any article or any great uh, site. Oh, <laughs> weblags.com. Now, text is very 2016. He is taking us to 2017. Video, text, audio. It's amazing. Yeah, everything. And plus, you uh, actually, we're, we're creating uh, discussion beehives. This is the whole thing of B post, B E E post. It's like really uh, creating the discussion beehives of, of uh, people just. Having their buzz, we call it the buzz. That's the comments, the buzz. And and what is so excited about it is that uh, our likes is actually honey drops. If you really like the the, the buzz, someone's buzz, you can just uh, give him a honey drop, and uh, as many honey drops as he has, and his buzz goes up towards the uh, uh, the article. So that's how we're going to do upgrade and downgrade, so people can have the best, funniest, smartest uh, mm. comments. Uh, to, to, to view. So, yeah. Each post, one queen bee, who will it be? Yeah, yeah. the one that gets the most is going to be the big queen, the queen bee, <laughs> of course. Now we've got to ask you, you're working with weebyblogs.com, is there something about Eurovision fans or our readers that you thought was appealing for bee posts? I think uh, it's a great audience because it's very passionate about you know, what, what they love so much about the singers, the countries, and, and I think it's, a, it's, a, it's the greatest playground to have fun uh, with these tools that we're going to bring uh, with Beepost, so I think it's going to be great. Available on Android and iOS. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now, some of our readers who know Tel Aviv, know the city, might know you, but for those of us outside of Tel Aviv, could you explain who you are? Okay, I'm, um, I was an actor, comedian for many years, and uh, I'm, along the way I started directing and uh, producing, writing uh, international shows. Uh, one of them was the Voca People, which is a very, um, very musical show. It's like uh, eight white aliens came from uh, the Voca planet, and they're actually doing uh, an orchestra just, you know, from the voices and make, having like 70 uh, the biggest uh, hits in the music uh, in history. And they're traveling all around the world. They have, have been already in 40 countries. And they're entertaining everywhere, from Broadway to China. Yeah. And that was a, a great uh, place, um, you know, the, um, as, as a creator, I wanted to give the, uh, the stage and the mic to everybody. Mm -hmm. So this like my, my connection to B-Post was actually coming from the creative side of it, to give everybody the tools to, to, to create their own, uh, their own art, mm -hmm. or their own comment, or their own passion, or their own, yeah. Now, when we were thinking about how to get an app or develop an app, we didn't want to go to some random company. We wanted someone who knew Eurovision, and as it turns out, you've worked with Eurovision stars in VOCA. Um, yes. Including one Mr. Hovi. <laughs> yeah, Hovi was, uh, at, at some point, uh, one of the mysterious VOCA people. Uh, he was an alien, mysterious alien. And, uh, and we're very proud of him. He's a great singer. Wishing him luck, because he's really good. Yeah. He's so talented. And you guys can comment on him on Wibi Blogs using your B-Post app. Now, we have to talk about your acting, because you starred in one of the biggest shows in Israel ever, Traffic Lights. Yeah, Ramzo. Um, it's called the neighborhood Ramzo, it's Traffic Light. And actually, it's about um, three guys. One is married, and one is, uh, is divorced. Not divorced, but like is going to divorce. He's actually married, but there's so many problems there. And I'm the, I'm the married guy. And, and he has a child that also you know, controls him like his wife. Oh. 
and the one in the middle is like the one that is really trying to decide where is where is worst and where is good. And I with the single guy, mm. the green light, that's the traffic light, or the red light, which is me uh, with the, with my wife and kid, and he's like in the middle. And that was uh, the the most successful TV show, comedy TV show uh, in Israel, and uh, actually won the the Emmy Awards, the International Emmy Awards for the best comedy in the world in 2010. And that was kind of um, was a great opportunity and a great mm. uh, honor to be a part of it. And you're very modest, so I'll just share you my experience since I've been here. People have told me he's like the Jim Carrey of Israel. Nonsense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he's serving that, who's it, Jerry Seinfeld of Tel Aviv? Maybe. Yeah, he's a big deal, but he's very modest. But you're transitioning away from, you know, the celebrity, the limelight, to a startup. What's that like for you? Um, I think it's, um, there are stuff that really uh, almost the same because when you're creating a show you know I'm starting that on a computer just trying to write my vision mm -hmm. and then uh, bringing investors to you know to realize my my dream and my fantasy and then recruiting people mm -hmm. to actually do it on stage and eventually it goes somewhere in the world and people in as I said China Japan or whatever enjoying that moments and so it's like I think that, that there are parallel points that are like when you we have a startup it's like the same here, you know, you have your vision and then you get your your people, the best people you can have, of course, then investors. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of like parallel ways. And I, I kind of found, found myself um, uh, going towards startups because in the past couple of years, I was really helping my friends as, as a crea in the creative side, as a creator in that. And so I, I, start, I helped them in, in their, their own startups. Uh, and then Google uh, Launchpad, they had like an accelerators and, and hubs for, for startups and they asked me to come and, and help their startups. And I was of course very honored and I, I helped them and I fell in love with startups, uh, the whole community, the whole, the whole process. And um, I decided that uh, 2016 would be a year that it would be for the first time. I won't have any rehearsals, any shootings, any shows, anything just focusing on one idea that will you know, just blow out there and just be everywhere and that people will enjoy to work and use. And, and that's how uh, we founded and, and established uh, Bee Post. Well, the honey is delicious because <laughs> he's been all over the media. I arrived a few days ago, you were on all the TV shows and all the newspapers. The response has been overwhelming. Are you surprised? What is the response like? I think the responses are really overwhelming because they, they, they all about, you know, giving them, giving the, the users the tools to do that. And that's like for the first time, people can, can react with different tools than what they had until now, up until now, like for the, the past 20 years. So it's like something new, something else. It's a different mm. community. It's a different, it's, it's all about, you know, taking the community side, get, taking the creation side, combining that together, bringing the fun into the, uh, to the comments. You know, all the, uh, the offensive comments, they're not welcome. Mm -hmm. Really giving the place for you know uh, people that has something to say, and that they they they're giving they they're doing that in in a, in a very positive energy in a positive way, yeah. not just you know the, the the stuff that you might find and you might read. Mm -hmm. So uh, we hope that we will change something that there in that uh, field. And I didn't mention this before, but one thing I love about your app and your design is that our readers are international and they don't all speak English, but with their faces they can say so much more, mm -hmm. even if they don't have the words. So you're empowering all sorts of people all over Europe yeah. who maybe can't do this, yeah. but they can do all of yeah. this. They can also, of course, record their, their, their voices, even if they're shy. They can record their voice and choose their, their background of emotional expression. If they feel like really angry, they can choose a you know, a volcano bursting, like, <laughs> and you just hear the voice and you can see the visualization of your feeling. And that's like, I think that's what's so exciting about it. And, uh, and yeah, it's different, something different. Mm. Yeah. And I know you have kids, have they used B-Post and how did they interact with it? Oh, they love it. They, they play with that all, all day long. And I'm, I don't allow them, I'm not allowing them to, to use that too much because we're not into the, you know, take the phone and just play for 10 hours. We're not there, but when, what, when we give them the time to do it, then, you know, we see that they take it and they try it. And I actually, I actually really consult with them because, <laughs> yeah, my, my big girls, they're like uh, 11, 11 and a half and nine. And, they're, and they're, I ask them, do you think the flow is good? It like, needs to be that or that. What characters you like most? What, what would you suggest me to do? Because they're really, they, they, 
they understand it. You know, it's a, it's amazing to have their their opinion about it and uh, and improving it. Okay. Yeah. And you might notice this beautiful art behind me. We have to point this out because he won't say it. He's too modest. He made this over the course of several months. <clears throat> yep, I uh, I had fun and creating. I was painting from the age of uh, actually ten, and I I just uh, gave up painting a, like a couple of years later, and then I I came back to paint uh, just uh, like two years ago. And there's, there was also another, like a burst of energy, of creativity. I just, I don't plan the, the, the picture, not, not, not planning it. I just, uh, just go intuitively and just, my hand is guiding me actually. Mm. And, and I just have fun with that. And my imagination just can go there. There's no budget, no investors, no, no <laughs> nothing. I just go there and just have fun with that. And that's like my, my you know, when you, you, most of the day you're stressed out because you have uh, these meetings and, um, and it is so many things with the company and that so it's different it's like a more of a business creation but this is like my time my free time yeah. i can just forget about the world forget about everything and just just enjoy and have fun yeah now our readers i can already hear them downloading the app right now on their phones just go to the store it's on google it's a, you know type in we blogs you're gonna see it do you have a message for them what do you want them to do with the app so have fun first just have fun because this is what it's all about have fun don't be shy and if you are you have the tool to use in order to express yourself and i think that um you know try to have uh, positive energy mm. of course and we would like to hear what you think about it and if you have any suggestions about it if anything to say about it we'd like to improve it or you have anything that we didn't think about that would be great we're open to any any thought about that and um you're gonna see it's gonna be fun, fun. Let's do this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it is going to slay. There are gonna be prizes, competitions, giveaways. You need to stay tuned. This is a stage for you. Eurovision's a stage. You are on that stage. You are gonna use BPOST, create that buzz. You can connect with Weeblogs. You can be reporters for us. Yo, we are so excited. I can't stop talking. <laughs> you inspire me. Thank Sweet. you for Thank everything. You. Thank you so much. This app has us all so excited and so buzzy. Thanks. You guys, you're gonna see BPOST all over the place in the coming year. I have a really strong feeling and it's all because of you so thank you so so much toda thank todo so. todo toda toda okay toda. thank you thanks so much oh, Leo. Thanks. Oh. <laughs>